Here is the tour of the Biome Hotel on the default texture pack. This is a place where I'm going to test out some texture packs. It has all sorts of blocks inside, generally in their natural forms, uh, different biomes throughout the building, uh, mobs, and of course we start off with some vegetation. We'll have the different stages of growth on display. We got potatoes, carrots, wheat, the stems for uh, some pumpkin and melon, got nether wart, and of course cocoa bean. So let's head on into the, the hotel, the building. The beginning area here has a, a lot of things on display because these things kind of don't fit into certain biomes. They're kind of just items throughout the world. So we have a little music area here. We've got a jukebox. And of course a music block. We've got uh, a bunch of armor on display, so we can see if there's any modifications that happen to those. We have a little enchanting area. And of course, a brewing area. Next up we have some chests. We have a trap chest and a regular chest on display to see if uh, people change up those. We have a little kitchen area here. These are all sorts of food that don't come from animal meat, generally. The animal type food is uh, where the animals are. We have some pillars on display. These are the tools that we use in game. So we can see if anybody modifies them or if they miss one or two types. Got some armor at the top there. Got some more, more stuff on display here. We've got some mob heads. Got some random tools. So let's head on to the biome rooms. We've got the savanna up first. Generally, everything that you'll find in a savanna, we've got some horses, some sheep, a cow. Got a little base area here where it shows generally what we you would have in a base. I uh, got some paintings. Got a mini village here that I built. A couple of villagers. Here's the roof forest. So basically everything dark oak. Uh, what you would expect to see from a dark oak base. Got a large mushroom here. We have some more paintings on the wall. Be interesting to see if anybody changes these and what they change them to. Next up we have a birch forest. These are somewhat boring, like I mean sometimes they'll have some sunflowers and stuff like that. On occasion they'll also have some pumpkins. I put in a jack-o'-lantern a lit pumpkin here so that you can tell the difference between a lit and unlit one. We have uh, the sort of things that birch wood will make. And of course, an ender chest. Next is the jungle. Of course we have some vines all over the place. It's a little bit obnoxious. There's so many in there. We have some mossy stone. We have some mossy cobble. Got jungle wood. Some more cocoa bean. We have the different uh, variations of jungle wood. And of course, some melons. Oop. Yeah. Got some vines. Next is the taiga biome. We've got many doge going on in here. Got all sorts of spruce trees all over the place. Some ferns. Some, some flowers. Mushroom. Got the spruce... Uh, sapling. That's basically it. That one's pretty boring. Next, we've got a regular forest. So sometimes you'll find pumpkins in forests. And of course you'll find these sort of things. Wheat. Some melons. Chickens. This is sort of a, a fishing shack that I mocked up. 
Got some uh, some water here, some clay, sand, lily pads. Got the types of fish here. Got another painting. Fishing rod. We have swampland next. Ended up putting in a, a witch hut because obviously there is no swampland complete without a witch hut. So this this is a basic witch hut, what you would find in a witch hut cauldron. Uh, crafting table, a pot with a mushroom. Of course, all made with spruce wood. Got uh, some some slime blocks, more lily plant pads. Got some clay. Next is a desert. I uh, did up a little desert temple sort of thing here. So all the sorts of sandstone is in here. Different color wool, uh, clay. Got some reeds, some cactus. We'll go off to the second level of the biome area in this building. First up we have the nether. Of course, this is complete with everything that you'll find in the nether. Got tons of lava, soul sand, gravel, quartz, glowstone. We have some nether wart growing. Uh, the cave system has a lot of complexity to it. It it has so many different kinds of blocks in here. We have uh, water flowing. Got some bedrock. All the types of gems, minerals. Got some carts laying around. Some rail activated and unactivated. Of course, we have a cart of TNT. Got to be able to see the TNT. Got another ladder here. That's pretty much it. Like everything that you would expect in a cave system. Next up is the end. This one's kind of boring. It doesn't have a lot to it because the end is somewhat boring except for the ender dragon. So we got some end stone in here. We've got some obsidian. Some bedrock for like the return back portal. Oh, I missed one. Mesa. Mesa has all sorts of red sand in here, red sandstone, all the different colors of stained clay. Next up we have uh, an ocean temple type area. Got a treasure treasure block going on here. Got uh, you can see the difference between the uh, the wet sponge on the other side of the glass there and the dry sponge. The different types of prismarine, the lamps. That's pretty much it. Oh, Mushroom Island. Mushroom Island is next. We got some mushrooms, of course. Got the mycelium on the floor. Got some baby mushrooms. Some massive mushrooms. Next, we'll look at the ice plains. Got some uh, some packed snow, packed ice. Got regular snow on top here. Got regular ice here. Of course, we finish it all off with the flower forest. I wanted to be able to get all types of flowers in here. See if anybody actually misses some of them or forgets about them all, com all together. Of course, a forest is not complete without trees. 
So that, that completes our tour of the biomes. Let's head on down to the dungeon area where I have all sorts of mobs on display. First up, we uh, we have some villagers. We have all the professions of villagers. We have their protector, Mr. Iron Golem. Got a snow golem here, Mr. Enderman. Here's a bunch of uh, animals that we have on display. Got some doge. Got some baddies down this hall. We got uh, the four types of zombies. These little guys always creep me out. I think that uh, zombie baby zombie villagers are very creepy, especially when they're running around on their little feet. Got some uh, a witch. Two different kinds of spiders. We've got the two different kinds of creepers. We've got all sorts of rideable things. These are not in the the basic stuff. But I wanted to display them just in case people mess with them. Mule, donkey, horse. Of course. Got some more mobs here. These are the nether type mobs. This guy always despawns on me and I'm not quite sure why. But I've never seen these in survival mode actually. I don't think I've uh, destroyed enough ender eyes to, uh, to make them spawn. Got the different types of slime. We have uh, underwater mobs. We've got the squid, the guardian, elder guardian. Of course, it's really creepy how their eyes follow you. Super creepy. Super creepy. All right, next, next. Uh, we have some bunnies on display. different uh, types of bunnies. We have cats, of course, domesticated and the undomesticated ocelot. I was extremely surprised when I found out that there were 35 different kinds of horse in the game. That is insane. And it's small stuff that can sometimes be the variation, like their booties are different or their manes are different, their tails are different. So yeah, every one of these is completely different from the other. Got several rows of these things. It's crazy. And then finally we have some sheep. We have all the different types of them, the different colors. I put in the uh, wool above them because I found that sometimes the uh, color of the sheep doesn't exactly match the color of the wool so we we will be able to tell keep an eye on that sort of thing in here uh, that's it for this level you'll notice that we missed a couple of mobs it's mostly because uh, there's not enough room down there for them um, so we have a little redstone area here so that we can see all the different uh, variations of redstone activated and non-activated I'm really interested to see how people differentiate their redstone dust I think that's one of the most interesting parts of uh, what people do in their texture packs so that should be fun Alright, so in the nether area, we didn't have one of these big bads. So I decided to display him up here because there's a little bit more space. Of course, we have a wither. It's really cool how this guy dies, so... It'd like, be nice to see if anybody makes uh, the effect of that any different. And of course, we cap it all off with the biggest bad of the game. Uh, I did up a little portal here to show the uh, spell effect and stuff like that. Got a dragon egg. Let's spawn him. Alright, so 
I'll be interested to see if anybody makes any difference uh, to the texture of Mr. Ender Dragon. So that concludes our tour. Hope you enjoyed it.